Alright everybody, it's aqua aerobic today. My name is Marjena. I've been teaching aqua for many many years and I would love to show you my favorite cardio exercise. They require absolutely no equipment. Let's start with jogging. Well the best water level for aqua exercise would be anywhere uh, around water around your chest. But notice that I decided to actually record this video on a shallow part of the pool just so you could see better what exactly I'm doing. So I'm now presenting low impact option, right? If skipping from side to side from one leg to another one feels too much, you can go a little bit slower one leg up at a time or move up to more higher intensity uh, exercise and just skip it. I call this high knee skip. It's a great exercise for abdominals. I bet you should, I bet you feel how core muscles are engaged. And we're gonna start warming up those arms with circle movement out. So up and down, up and down. Make sure you are rolling your foot toe to heel, really absorbing the impact. There's very little impact in water, but still there is. Next arm exercise that we can incorporate our arms going back and forward. That's gonna be a great exercise for back muscles. Keep going. Comfortable breathing. Yeah, always the faster you decide to go, the faster your breathing should be. We need a lot of oxygen when we do cardio, so make sure you supply it for your body. Notice how little space you actually need for effective cardio workout. We can add some motion though if there's more room around us. We can head back and move arms forward, out and behind. Here you're gonna splash a little bit. So make sure if somebody else, if you share a line with somebody, they're okay with being splashed. Going. Not only it's a good cardio exercise, but it is a fantastic lymphatic massage. And again, feel free to move around a little bit. You can have forward face direction of the movement, or you can have backward. Anytime you go backward, you'll be activating muscles on the back side of your body. Now we're gonna reverse those arm moves. Make sure you link your fingertips together to create that resistance. Water already is giving us 12 times as much resistance as any as the same moves up in the air on the land, but to really take advantage of it, those fingertips should be linked, especially that we are using no equipment today. I'll be showing you other workouts in the future where we can use some stuff but today let's say you just have yourself and again a little bit of motion forward and back abs stay engaged back is straight and we breathe right look how i reverse our moves right we can go with the circle movement forward and then as we head backward you're going to reverse that circle we can go with diagonal lines. We can even create a little bit of dance. It's a lot of fun. I hope you are smiling when you do it or when you watch it. All right, let's move on to the next exercise, jumping jacks. I will show you this one uh, from the close up in a moment. Very important that we are pulling those ups in. And again, we are rolling our feet toe to heels. Arms in the water, you're gonna work your arms better. You won't see much of this much of the splash, right? Instead you're gonna see the water waving. And here I just wanna show you more of the leg work. This is low impact option. You'll be either doing one leg side to side at a time or you'll be skipping that jump up and down. You'll be more focusing on going out and in, right? Dealing with the resistance. 
and as like I said, water around your chest would be preferred for this exercise. I can tell so deep under my spell. Sorry, not sorry. That I'm no help. Yeah, you definitely want to keep your arms in the water or up in the air, but always moving along with your legs. It's a total body workout. All right, and back to our jumping jacks. This time we are doing that second option, right? Dealing with the resistance. You now feel in your arms that 12 times more resistance. Keep going. Again, you don't want to go for the splash. You want to see more of water waving around you. Breathe along. Now another transition, we're adding more of the bounce once more. And motion. We can have side to side. And we can push our hands behind, forward. Right, explore all the space around you. Have fun with it. We really can do it wrong. One forward, one behind, right? So we're working back muscles with this motion and chest muscles as we push our palms forward. Almost like you try to clap your hands behind. Very important that we don't lean forward when we push arms back. If you don't put your hands together, that's okay. Just do best you can. Really working those inner thighs and out thighs and switch back to jog. Now this one is wide jog, right? We set up those feet a little wider. Look at my hands. I will show you close up in a moment as well. We shift by the way, side to side here. We really want to open up those hips, pull those knees up. Great one for obliques and also lower part of abs, right? So that's our starting position. And you do want to move your hands along with this. I'm just showing you how it's supposed to look. Palms down. Again, fingertips linked. That's going to add some more resistance. Deeper water, chest level. Not that you're not going to have a good workout if it's a water level that I'm in now, but I think you get more of that if it's a little deeper. If you're not a swimmer, well, you obviously want to remember you never do this workout when you are alone in a pool, but also I would advise you to stay on the shallow part of the pool first. Once you are getting more comfortable, then you'll be moving on. Keep going, rolling those toes again. Here you can clearly see toe to heel, right? And again, you won't splash yourself as you do so. I'm adding motion here. I'm heading back. I'm going sideways and around. Again, another dance. I hope you're having waterproof mascara when you do so. You better do. And same thing. Checking again if my fingertips are coming. Look how fast you can go. Right? You can eventually keep shifting body weight side to side and just focus more on pushing it down. This is a water sprint. Once top of your head stays flat in a pool, it means you are sprinting. There's less impact. It's all about tempo here. And that lymphatic massage again. Water massage. Keep going. Keep breathing. Keep smiling. You're burning calories. You're doing great. All right, what's this? Cross-country skiing. And again, close up so you could see exactly. Our feet should be hips wide apart. And then you, you can probably see and feel how challenging it is to actually 
stay aligned, but that's what you want to do, right? You want to skip any rotation in your body here. You want your hands to be in the water. Once again, I'm only presenting this exercise for you, so that's why I move my hands up. But you just want the opposite arm forward and then switch accordingly to your left. So if you, if you start with your left leg in front of you, then you're gonna push your right hand forward and just switch and switch. Which means one leg transition equals one arm transition. If you would be afraid of doing it on your own, you can hold two lap lengths. Or you could hold noodle. Or you could do it with your friend. Really remember to keep those abs engaged here. That's the key. Breathe. Start curling those knees up and see what a difference it is now, right? Before we were kind of dragging toes forward and back, keeping feet closer to the bottom, and now we are tucking knees up. This is even better for us. Keep going. All right, let's try to pick up a little more tempo. It's supposed to be cardio, so we have to sweat. Keep going. You see, left hand, right leg. It's very hard sometimes to keep that transition going on. This is an even more advanced option, right? Adding a little bit of the bounce up and down and mixing it up with the whole set below water, right? So here we do the deal. With resistance, oh, we are jumping up and down, up and down. Breathe. Anytime you cut yourself with your mouth closed, you're not breathing right. Let it go. We need oxygen. Splash it away a little more. Remember, you deciding how much calories you actually burn. Aqua class can be easy. If you are returning after, um, you know, longer break, you can do something, but you can also get a very challenging workout. It's all up to you. All right, back to seats. Now we're gonna do 45 degrees angle kicks. I push feet down to the bottom of the pool and then I kick both legs out. Not exactly forward, right? We see that deep position that, that our legs create. 45 degrees angle. Push those heels forward. Do anything with your hands to help you balance. You could do one leg at a time. If you're not a swimmer, if you are not feeling comfortable with doing both legs, try just one. But notice I'm not jumping up first, okay? My body is at the same level in a water this entire time. This is important because if you start with the jump, you'll be sinking down. You can choose to do this one slow or fast or mix it up. One slow, one fast and on and on. and exhale, burning those calories, getting a lot of oxygen, keep moving. This is so much fun, I is my the best. Alright, a few more here and we'll be switching exercise. All right, that's another option, a fantastic option for non-swimmers again. We're gonna jump floor, meaning bottom of the pool, and then we'll push both feet up to the wall. Now you can let one hand go, and then the other one, or you can continue holding into the wall. We could also let the wall go, right? And just push our feet wall, and bottom of the pool and switch and switch and switch and switch like now this is gonna put your abs on fire 
keep going. Funny thing is that in a water we actually sometimes don't feel what a challenge it is for those muscles. More jumping jacks, why not? Just this time we are tucking those knees up. Yes, another core exercise. Keep breathing. I'm holding it to those lap lengths here. And if you have a pool where you can reach and hold both, great. But you will get better workout if you just keep your arms moving. Again, any arm moves would be great here. Find a good rhythm, keep going. This one is very similar exercise. We are now just tucking knees up and down, moving both feet off the bottom. I call this one frog jumps. I'm pressing palms down. I exhale with every move. I'm trying to smile, but it's hard. I have to choose whether I breathe or I smile. I better breathe, huh? Keep going. All right, now here we're gonna kick a little bit. Front and back kick. It is the same leg kicking forward and backward. My arms are just helping me to balance. The leg we are standing on is grounded on the bottom of the pool. It may look like it's all leg exercise, but trust me, it is a total body. Especially abs, legs, well yes, and upper body is not on the break here as well. I bet you feel it. Keep going. Why do about eight per leg and then switch up? Again, tempo if is your choice. If necessary, you can even push your toes down after each kick, like I show you now. Right, so we can keep touching the ground and just move on front to backward kick or front kick, touch down. Push your toe to the ground and then kick again. Notice my front kick is way higher than back kick. Another sequence of kicks. This time I'm gonna jump over. So we are alternating legs. It's right foot kicking forward and then I jump over, kick back. That front kick goes pretty close to the water surface. With back kick, I try to stay closer to knee level, but I'm making sure that my glutes are engaged with that back kick. I'm also making sure my abs stay pulled in this entire time. Keep going. If that's a new exercise for you, try to eight. Then you're gonna move on to 12 and eventually we're gonna do 16 repetitions per side. And I'm not gonna stop you if you wanna do more. All right, and now front kicks. Right, notice I'm jumping over, kick, 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 kick. Here we can also add a little bit of the bounce, yes, but we can also kind of squat a little bit, like so, and then do it completely low impact, almost floating. We could do it floating, but I'm gonna keep those options for another video. Have fun with it. You feel like Ronaldo, Pella, Lewandowski going. And again, check on your breath. Are you breathing? Side to side kicks? Yes. One leg at a time and we are splashing water away from the kick. This is low impact, right? Which means we will switch feet down on the bottom of the pool. That's one way to do so. You could choose to kick somewhere around your knee level, hip level, or as high to the water surface as you can. More intensive option is when we jump over. 
add more of that splash there you go push and exhale and exhale keep going double kicks in a house yes after each kick remember to pull this knee in then kick again this will give you two ab contractions double double keep going Add some motion and waves, torso rotation. This is a great exercise that we could actually do as a warm up, but we can put it anywhere in the middle of the workout. I am creating resistance here, right? I don't splash that water much. It's one, two inches below the surface. So you want that wave of water, and then you can add this along. Right? So you could go just arms and give yourself maybe recover between kicks four. If you don't need recover, just go for it. Kick and sway. Kick and sway. Keep going. Now this will really start moving the water around you. Alright, moving on to another exercise. This is round kick we're gonna draw like a circle and let me tell you this you don't want water to make it easy for you at no point right you push through the resistance that's why we decided to be in a water this is our equipment keep going great exercise for glutes and legs we're gonna switch exercise again little bit more motion go ahead now point your toes forward and skip C or side to side keep going keep moving burning those calories have fun with it I hope you like this music and again low kicks Yes, water is splashed around us. Keep going. Side to side. There we go. Yes, once our body is warm up, we need to start challenging it up a little more. Point your toes. I know I'm splashing around. You can barely see, right? I have my toes pointed. Point, 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 point. Then I curl my heels back. To target hamstrings and back of my legs any arm moves are fine here you really can't go wrong right it's really the understanding of those aqua exercises it's to get most of it but we really can't do many of them in a wrong way arms around jog 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 by jogging, I always mean we are bouncing up and down. Arms above water. Or slightly back. Elbow joint. Like we were hitting a drums. Push, push, push. We almost there. We almost there. Keep it up, keep it up. And white sprints. Now, this is what I mean. Now, you could put your feet together or open up your legs out, especially if you are on the shallow part of the pool like I am, right? But if you are deeper, just keep your feet hips wide apart and then open them up every now and then. Go, 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 don't look around. Keep going. Now water is splashed. You're burning calories right here, right now. Do it. down 
another circle movement this time you can either balance on one leg or you can stay next to the wall slow your breathing down you did fantastic we also want to do about 12 per side that was about 20 minutes of cardio don't forget to check my other videos. I will show you some strength exercise with equipment and without. I hope you guys had fun. I did. See you next time. Subscribe and let me know if you like the video. Bye bye now.